Welcome outside to our jet deck here on Studio 10. Door to Serenity offers a safe haven for those looking to break free from drug and alcohol addiction. They focus on being inclusive to anyone who needs these resources. Lisa Taggart is here from Door to Serenity to tell us all about it. Lisa, good morning to you. Good morning, Joe, and thank you so much for having me. Well, we're so excited to have you here and share with the folks more about what you do. Let's bring it back to the very start. How did this all get underway and started? Um, I am a person in long-term recovery and I would bring meetings to certain places and realized um, after my sister's death that some places will not allow LGBTQ plus into their place so I wanted to create a, a safe home-like environment for people to recover from addic addiction um, honestly of who they are so um, they could break free from the disease. So it seems like there was a void, especially in our community, for a place like this for yes. so many people who needed the help and care and treatment to get better. Yes. And so you fill that void with Door to Serenity. So tell us how it's been going. How long has it been open? A few things about that. Uh, we've been open for three months, but we also um, are with the Good Samaritan program for Goodwill. So we could clothe people. We could take people to meetings. We could just stand with them through their recovery. And then now, since we've been open, we could house them. You were talking to me in the commercial break about something called Narcon. First, explain that what that is to the people and tell them more about it. If that. somebody's having an overdose and they've literally died because of too much drugs, Narcan can be um, um, injected into the person, usually by nasal, and they could revive them and save their life. And um, my son, who is a year in sobriety and sober, um, when he was in addiction, he died twice. And this life-giving medicine saved his life until he could recover on his own. And on our website, on our uh, Facebook page, you could go to Door to Serenity and watch a seven minute video. And then you could click that you watched it. And you could also get this life-giving medicine um, without a prescription now at any pharmacy. You just have to ask for it. So part of the outrage of what you do is raising awareness and educating people about the resources that yes. are out there that can be potentially life-saving. So if folks want to learn more or perhaps they're watching this interview right now and they know someone who could benefit from some of the resources that you have to offer, what do they need to know about getting in contact with you? Um, DoorToSerenity.org is our website. My phone number, 251-610-3389. I'm so brave just to put it out there. <laughs> you know, sure. when one door closes, ours wants to be open and we want to be accessible. Absolutely, and I'm sure we will hear much more about y'all in the future. Like you said, been open for three months now, trying to get the word out. What if someone wants to get involved from the helpful perspective? Should they visit the website as well and give you a call? Yes, and they could yeah. email me, lisa at doortoserenity.org. All right, that sounds good. Well, thank you for the work that you are doing. Thank you. Glad to hear about the recovery efforts that are underway. Hopefully this resource can be of so much help to so many people in our community.